Lois, Lois, lock the door. Why? It's that lady who comes in, tries a sample, and then whispers about how bad she is. Hey! Oh, my God, you have chocolate macadamia nut. Oh, could I just try a little sample? Oh, I'm so bad. Uh, sure. You gonna buy a cookie this time? Oh, I better just stick with the sample. I'm so bad. But at least I know I'm bad, so that makes me a little less bad. Or worse. That was the right thing to do, Peter. No! Jungle Jim, mine! <laughs> Anyone else want to feel my wee bock in their grapes? <laughs> yes, that's right. Cry. Cry like Sauron when he lost his contact lens. D does anybody see it? Oh, I am so grounded. Okay, the time machine is refueled. Let's find a safe spot and make the trip back home. Unless they can sing a charming musical number. Whatever. What the hell? Stewie, get out here! Look at this. Do you know anything about this? A about what? About what a beautiful day? Oh my god, that is surprising. Oh, I had to stop that last sentence in the middle because I was so surprised. What happened? Gee, I don't know. Do you know what happened? <laughs> I'm sorry, what, what was that? I, I, I was laughing at that funny thing you said at dinner the other night. What funny thing? You, um, you, that you, you remember what, what you said about Lois's um, potatoes are rotten? Huh. Didn't think anybody heard that. Wish you laughed at the time. But, but what the hell happened to my car? Well, I don't know, man, but the good news is it, it doesn't look all that bad, Brian. It's just it's that spot right there that's upsetting you, right? Stewie, I know it was you. Your potato joke was terrible. Oh, who the hell do you think you are? Brian! Brian, do something! Look, I'm sorry about this. Let me just pay the fine or whatever, and I'll make sure this doesn't happen again. You can pick him up tomorrow. Oh, okay. Just bring a trash bag. What did he mean by that? Any human that bites a dog gets euthanized, you know that. No, he doesn't. He's from another universe where dogs are subservient to humans. Oh, you mean like that time we- Yep. When we bounced around between universes? Yep. And you couldn't figure out how to- Yes! Well, they're gonna kill him. We gotta get him out of there. It's a tough world here. You hear about it every night on the dog news. Coming up, that bush in the park is my bush. It's my bush. I'm here to bring you home. Well, I'm not going. I'm staying here and smoking dope. What? No son of mine is gonna be smoking dope. Why not, Dad? Is it any worse than your three martini lunch? What? No son of mine is gonna be drinking a three martini lunch. Why not, Dad? Is it any worse than your five scotch breakfast? What? No son of mine is gonna be drinking a five scotch breakfast. Why not, Dad? Is it any worse than your three X's drawn on the jug corn whiskey moonshine? What? No son of mine drink anything but rice wine. That's right. We trace our early family roots to Asia. Hey, where's Peter? I don't know. I haven't heard from him since he left work. <laughs> Hope you made extra. I brought a guest. What the hell? Who is this? This is my dirt bike girlfriend. Amber. I'm a dirt bike guy now, so I need a dirt bike girlfriend. Yeah, she has small breasts, but she makes up for it by smoking. Peter, she has to leave. We're having dinner. No, Lois. I will not allow you to look down on Amber just because she goes to an alternative high school. There's different ways to measure intelligence besides someone's grade point average. Fact is, she rumpled up some poetry she wrote and threw it away in a fit. But I unrumpled it, and it was really good! I'd like to welcome our new co-anchor, Joyce Kinney. Welcome, Joyce. Thanks, Tom. Wow, you sound crazy nervous. In local news, there was a hit and run by a drunk driver today at Quahog Park. Two children are missing. <gasps> I was just there. All right, this is good. Any other suggestions? Yeah, can you end each show by trying to pull start a very cold chainsaw? Well, that shouldn't be a problem. All right, thank you for being so candid. Hey, thanks for listening. I know how hard it is to take criticism. Hey, nice boots, Griffin. They sell men's shoes where you got those? You made a commitment to these boots, Peter. These boots are the new you, and no one will shake that. Yeehaw! Ride them, cowgirl! Okay, you can take the boots off at lunch. Go to the gym, have a workout, come back in your sneakers. If anyone asks, you forgot the boots in your locker. Just make it to lunch. Those boots are made for walking. Up to guys' butts. <laughs> hey, fellas. Hey. Oh, that poor boy. We should bury him. It's only right. Yeah, yeah, we, we should, Lois. You're right. Or we could... Could what? Eat him. <gasps> Brian! 
again. Look, if we don't eat something soon, we're all gonna pass out from exhaustion and freeze to death just like him. Are we really considering this? We're talking about eating a person. Yeah, I'm not so sure about this. Oh, I thought we decided. I'm sorry. Well, I guess we don't have a choice. I am oddly prepared for this. Wow, he really did it. I always knew Mayor West was a little crazy, but I never thought he was capable of something like this. The mayor's going to jail. That means anything goes. I pushed a lady. God, I can already hear the jokes Jay Leno is going to be telling about our mayor. Oh, yeah? Like what? Oh, uh, you know, it's like you can already hear them, you know? Like what? Like exactly what jokes do you hear? Tell me one of the jokes. Brian, all I have to do is start fake sneezing around you and you'll spend the rest of your life outside. Oh, yeah, yeah, I can hear some of the jokes. Well, I guess you just never know what kind of rage some people have bottled up. Well, we all got anger, Chris. The important thing is finding a healthy way to channel it. For me, as you know, it's the family bath. Peter, how long do we have to sit here? Until I'm not angry anymore, you naked bunch of bitches! Well, so what if that woman at the orgy couldn't see? There's plenty of other evidence that Wes is guilty. Yeah, let's wrap this up. I got the director's cut of Raiders of the Lost Ark waiting for me at home. Don't look, Marion! Okay! By the way, I'm pregnant! Maybe just one quick peek. Come on, people! He obviously did it! You know his type, they're all guilty! Well, what type is that? He's one of those plain lippies. You know, no mustache like a normal person. Prancing around with his naked lip out for all the world to see. Sir, you are talking to a plain lippy! Oh, now, don't take it like that. You, some of them are all right. But you know what I mean, they're all over the place. How about me, Tucker? Am I all right? Well, of course you're all right. <laughs> Huh. Imagine that. What happened to me? I've become my father. Not guilty. That really hurt because it was a real mustache. That's right, fellas. I'm gonna meet her. Meet who? Yeah, what are you talking about? Oh, I, I thought we were starting in the middle to save time. The, the phone sex lady. I'm gonna meet the phone sex lady in person. Whoa, 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 wait a minute, Peter. I, I wouldn't do that. Hey, hang on, Quagmire. That's a bad idea. You never want to meet those phone sex women in person. Yeah, I know. That's what I said. I wouldn't do it. Good. Don't. Guys, I have to see if she's as special in person as she is on the phone. Besides, if I listen to you guys, I never would have got that job as a seat filler for fetuses. Okay, let's take a look at your baby, shall we? Hi. He'll be right back. He's in the bathroom. I'm sorry. These tickets are invalid. What? It's showing that they've already been scanned. I can't let you in. God, this trip has been a disaster. I know. I actually thought I was going to win big and get that plastic surgery I always wanted. Oh, my God! Look at him! He's so cute! I'm small, so this is okay. We have no money, no way to get home. And one of the loan shark's goons is probably gonna bust through that door any minute and kill us both. I wish my daddy were here. He always knows what to do. Ah, son of a bitch. Well, I better leave a note. It's the right thing to do. Fine, you caught me. So I borrowed your bra. My boobs hurt when I go down the stairs. No, not that, you idiot. Where is the dead body? I know you took it. And don't lie, or I'll tell Jennifer Connelly that you're the one who's been mailing her those dog heads. Well, yes, I'd like to mail this to a whore. Okay, fine, Meg. I used the body to get me into R-rated movies. After that, I took him swimming, and he fell apart. Chris, Mr. Dugan's wake is tomorrow, and there's going to be a body in that casket. If it's not his, it's going to be yours. Hey, guys, what's going on? And no one says anything, which means they hate it. Hold it, hold it! What's going on? We're here to demolish this building by order of the bank. Like hell you are! What are you talking about, Peter? We ain't going nowhere! This bar belongs to us! <gasps> ice cream truck! You didn't get any ice cream? The ice cream man was handsome. I got nervous. You and Dad were right. I'm not smart enough to be here. Can you come get me, please, Mom? Okay, honey, of course we will. Hang on, I got another call. Hello? Lois, I'm at the gym. I hate it here. I want to come home. Everybody's so mean, and there's this one guy who follows me around and calls me fat. Well, I suppose I... Hang on, honey, I'm getting another call. H hello Hey, is fat ass home yet? Put him on, I want to talk to him. I'm standing here at the home of the Griffin family, chatting with their neighbors. So the Griffins might be dead. How does that make you feel? Griffin dead? I take. 
No, no, they might be dead. They, they also might still be alive. He's okay. I, I take. 